Hey guys, we are going to look at installing and uninstalling software in Windows 10. Now here you can see we have a program, that's the installer file. I know that it's an installer file because it's got a .exe, so it's obviously an application of some kind, and it says Setup. So I'm going to double click on Setup, and let's see what happens. Double click on Setup. First thing is a security thing. It says uh, user account control. This is Windows 10, okay? Windows is just saying, are you sure you want to install this? Absolutely, we do want to install this. A little splash screen. Oh, that's quite nice. And let's see what we have. Right, welcome to the All the Answers Setup Wizard. This will install All the Answers 1.10 on your computer. It is recommended that you close all the other applications before continuing. Click Next to continue. Hmm, click Next to continue. Please read the following license agreement. Now, this is the end user license agreement. And most applications, when you install them, will have some sort of an agreement that you agree to when you install the software. Yes, it's a legitimate agreement. Let's have a look here. It says Evale. This is a, between you and Gotcha. That must be the name of the company. This URL is quite important, but nobody re reads it. I mean, you aren't reading this right now. No, you're not. Oh, what's this? It's just a whole bunch of text you're going to skip over, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, I'm not not interested in any of this. So I'm just going to accept that, okay? You can see it's, it's too much to read. I mean, who reads this stuff anyway? But just be aware of what might be in there. Okay, be careful. Next. Uh, right, so we put in our name, our organization there. Um... I don't have an organization. And then this product requires a serial number in order to continue installing. This is proof that you've purchased this. Okay, if you haven't purchased this, you won't have the serial number. Fortunately, I have a serial number. And as you can see, it's legit because the next button is now enabled. Next, right, where do I want to install this? I can install it here or I can browse. I'll just go with the default things that the wizard has given me. Next. A uh, couple of extra options here. Create a desktop icon. Yes, that actually is handy. So next, preparing to install. Oh, wow, that was fast. Okay. Completing all the da, 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 setup wizard. Great. Launch. No, I don't want to launch it just yet. I just want to make sure that the what the icon looks like and then I can launch it myself. So there we go. Uh, here I'm just dragging the icon from off screen onto here. Oh, it's cat exam answers. Hmm, cat exam answers. So let's find out what that is. Well, I opened the file um, that the program installed, and um, yeah, this is what I got. You didn't honestly think we'd give you all the answers. Yeah, man, oh, what a sucker. So. We see that when installing software, we have a wizard. The wizard is basically just a step-by-step -step process taking you through the installation of the software. And it just gives you various options, like where do you want to install it? Do you want to change the location of where you want to install it? Do you want a shortcut on the desktop? And of course, uh, agreeing to the EULA and user license agreement. And then the serial number, if it was something that you prove that you have purchased the software. So, yes, but now it's time to uninstall the software because obviously I got suckered into buying something that was of no use. So we need to uninstall the software. So what am I going to do first? Well, I'm going to go click on my Windows menu button at the bottom. I'm going to go to settings. There it is there, the little gear icon. Click on settings and I'm going to go to apps. There it is over there, apps. Click on apps. Okay, now we just wait for a few seconds. Done. There. All my apps are here. Now, if I can't remember what the name of the app was, I mean, I could scroll down, but I mean, I've got a, I got a lot of apps, okay? So I could actually just change this and change it according to the install date. So let's sort according to the install date. Aha! There is the sucker program that I went and downloaded. All the answers. Click and uninstall. Yes, please. Uninstall. This app and all its related info will be uninstalled. Yes. Good. Uninstall. Now, I'm just going to drag this onto the screen. This is the message that popped up. And it says, do you want to allow this app to make... Un well, yes, of course. I mean, we could click on show more details. This is another thing, Windows 10 security. So it's not the program itself. This is Windows, just making sure everything is okay. And again, I'm just dragging this back. Do you want to remove... Yes, I do. I do want to remove all of it. And you can see on my other screen, everything has been successfully removed. The program is now gone.